Hi babe, it's Vidic here and uh, welcome back to Runex. In today's video, we are going to be doing loot from 100 Vorkath. We're going to be using the best range setup in the game. We're on a Slayer task with a Slayer helmet and we're going to be using all of the fancy potions for the fastest kills possible. Now before we get into it, I'm giving away another $100 bond. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Runex in-game name down below. Basil just called me a toaster. We're gonna be using this house for all of the other boosts, so he can call he can call me whatever he wants. By the way, we got a Runex video today and tomorrow, and this weekend I'm gonna be pissing picking the last couple weeks of Runex winners, so make sure you enter on our past few videos. I respond to the winners' comments on YouTube. I also add the winners' names to the pinned comment and to the description if any of you guys were wondering. Alright, let's head into Basil's house. I think I use his house more than anybody else's for his elixir pool. Alright, so Infernal Elixir, 25% more damage. We also got the elixir pool, which is going to give us anti-fire and all that good stuff. There we go. Alright, let's do this first kill. Now, I've tested this out a couple times, and this setup is actually insane for Vorkath. Alright, you can already see. There you go. I tested out some of the melee stuff. You know, the Dragon Hunter Lance that has 25% uh, more damage and accuracy against dragons, but it really just does not does not compete. All we gotta really watch out for are those fires. Oh my god, 180. That's all we really gotta watch out for. Okay, that's fucked. He put the little... He put the little... What is that thing anyways? A little squid thing? Right next to me. 200, there we go, hell yeah. Oh man, we are dealing damage. Wow, how long was this kill? And there is all the loot. 50 second Vorkath kill. Now, does it respawn him or do we have to, like, teleport back? Now, it's actually perfect. I got a Vorkath task that was 11 Vorkath. I extended it and it went to 33. Now, the thing is to get 100 Vorkath loots, I only have to kill 33 because I have epic luck tokens, which gives us three rolls. Meaning 33 Vorkath kills will actually be, like, 99. And then we'll just kill one more at the end without the luck token. Now, it looks like he doesn't respawn. So every time we kill him, we are going to have to teleport back and run up, but that's fine. Now before we go further in the video, what do you guys think is going to be the fastest kill I can get? Because this is basically the best setup in the game, and I'm pretty sure the best setup for Vorkaf. So my estimate is we are going to get a 35 second kill. That's what I think. We might as well take a look at it. So he has a lot of decent supplies, obviously the bones will sell for a good amount. Bag of riches 1 out of 40. And then the big stuff down here, Skeletal Visage. I would love to get the Vorkath pet. Let's hope for that. Always set up a preset. Very, very useful. Oh no! Fuck, dude. God damn it. Oh my god. It already happened. I just cannot avoid those things. They come out so hot and fast. But let's just, let's just hope that that's our only death. We'll also keep a lookout for the highest hit we get. Okay, this. Come on. Big hits, big hits. Dude, this could be... If we got, like, all these nutty hits, we could almost get, like, a 15-second kill. Oh my god, this might be it! One more, please! No! Dude, you have to spawn the little bitch-ass zombie. Okay, we gotta wait a second, he's still immune. Now? No, he's immune. Come on, finish him off. Okay, this is definitely a 35. Oh my god. Unless I died there. Okay, thank you. Jesus, you really... Uh, 43?! Really? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, Vorkath. Oh, poison's still here. Is this gonna hit us if we walk over it? No. Fuck, now I can't tell where the real poison is. Oh god, is this real poison? That's real poison. Ooh, 213, baby. Show me that money. 213, this is a quick one. Oh, so far all big hits. That's so quick. So quick to 500 HP. This always... Okay, there's a mechanic here. There's a hidden mechanic. Right when he gets under 500, he gets super tanky. Oh, not right now, dude. No! Oh, oh you fucking bitch. You saw that, dude? He was totally... He distracted me. Vorkath took his shot. Didn't work, though, buddy. Oh. You know what? When he trolls me like that, it's actually a good thing because it speeds up our kills. Because we get back on Vorkath quicker, so thanks, I guess. Oh my god, this could be the one. This is such a fast kill. Please, no more zeros. And no little white... No, there we go. This has got to be our record so far. 43 seconds. We're slowly getting there. 
Slowly but surely. So right now I'm wondering, wait, did we miss something? Oh no. We can't miss any loot. I'm wondering at this point, is Vorkath even good money making? I mean, this video is pretty much going to be testing it out. There's a few good items to get from Vorkath. Wait, is he almost dead? No! No, that would have been the 35, I think. I'm rambling about... Fuck, I don't even notice my hits. I almost just killed him in 30 seconds, 35 seconds. That's it, though. That's going to be like 40. 39! <laughs> so excited about stupid numbers. But yeah, you get the head to make the assembler, which is really good. Untradeable, you gotta kill the boss for it, I believe. But what do you guys think? Is Warcraft a good moneymaker? Or is it... Is it not? So yeah, as a tip, if you're ever doing Warcraft, you don't have to do the real Wooks walk. You can just walk sideways and hit him whenever your, uh, your hit's ready. Oh my god, do you guys see how hard it is for me to dodge those? Even if I get it, I think that was a pretty good reaction time. It wasn't insane, but... Fuck. I barely missed that one. Hey, we got... Oh, three bags of riches. Is that what it drops? That's actually not too bad. It's a 1 out of 40 drop, and it drops three bags of riches. So that's... So that's actually a decent way to get those. This... Oh, this is the one. This is a 35. Oh my god. If we can do it before he sends out the little white guy... Oh, one more hit, please! 150, do it! You fuck! One more... Dude, kill him! Oh, dude, that would have been like a 20 second kill. And then he, you fucking bitch. See, the thing is, we've hit a 213. So, oh, 215. Good timing. So, technically, oh, God, this is a good one. He's going to send out the little white thing now, though. Fuck me. I could literally kill this boss in, I think, 15 seconds. It'd be pretty insane RNG, obviously, but if we hit five 200s in a row, good start, right off the bat. We could kill him, I'm thinking 15 seconds, let's count this, like, one, two, three, it's about three seconds per attack, and we would kill him before he actually sent out the little uh, squid thing. Ooh, 215 off the bat, come on. Oh, here we go. This could be it. Oh, big hits, come on, the 35 seconds. Still decent, still decent, oh my, oh, if we can get him before he spawns the zombie. One more hit, please. Yeah! Holy shit! That is going to be such a fast kill. Let's see what it is. Dude, I... That is like... 19 seconds? 22 seconds. Holy shit. That is a fast Vorkath kill. I did not expect that. Well, there we go. So I think about 15 seconds could be possible. Alright, so we are on our last couple trips here. I'm hoping for something rare, obviously. I feel like whenever I do these videos, I always get the rare drop at the end. Oh, guys. <laughs> I am so stupid. Uh, I just realized... We are on the last kill. This is a great time to realize, by the way, that you forgot... Or I forgot... The Slayer Emblems to increase our drop rates. And we are just finishing up here with our last couple of kills. It's... It's a stupid mistake. It's not that big of a deal, though. I mean, it's a decent drop rate boost, but it wouldn't have helped us out that much. I'm <laughs> sorry for forgetting. There we go. Task complete. Thank you for the Slayer points. We're actually doing 35 Runex points each kill, and a few boss points as well. I think we might have some boosts, or Vorkath might just give 5 boss points each, would be, which would be really good. Anyways, though, that's actually 99 Vorkath kills. So, we've got one final kill to do. Um, and the funny part about that is we can't even use the emblems now, because we finished up the task. Oh, that's suitable. Yep, sounds about right. I'm an idiot. You know what, I'm so confident that this kill we're getting the big loot, I took off the auto loot, so we can see the item drop on the ground. The little Vorky pet, actually it's gonna go in our inventory, so I should show my inventory. There it is. Now, we gotta go to the bank and get every single last little piece of loot into our inventory so we can see how much money we made. Alright, there we go. 100 Vorkath loots in my inventory. Obviously, 100 superior bones and hides since they drop one of each each time. Nothing too great, to be honest. We didn't get too lucky. The thing about Vorkath is he doesn't have a lot of valuable small drops that you can just kind of save up and make money from but let's find out how much these superior bones would be worth uh geez it's nothing it's 15 mil nobody even buys blue dragon hide 
Vorkat Teleport for 45 mil? I just think nobody trades these. I mean, that's interesting that people are actually spending... I mean, I don't get it. What's the Vorkat Teleport do? Because I just teleport there and I walk like 10 feet. But, I mean, people are buying it every couple days for about 40 mil. So, technically, this is about 160... Wait. Teleports to Vorkath and boost chance of better and rarer drops by 50%. Okay, well that's that's good then. So we got 160 mil off those. That's not too bad. 175 mil. Bags of riches are about 30. So about 265 mil. 270 mil. I think that's about it. So almost 300 mil we made. I mean, okay, so this isn't bad with these Vorkath teleports. 40 mil each. The people will buy them. You know, it might take a day or two to sell, but it, they're not that inactive. Now, these go for 30 mil each, but I'm not going to sell them. Let's open them up and see what we get. Could get lucky. Or not. Uh, at the end, when I saw, you know, all the loot in my inventory, I was like, this is going to be like 30 mil max, but almost 300 mil. So, not too bad. Vorkath, obviously not the best boss to grind for money making, but he's got a lot of really good rare drops. He gives a lot of boss points, a decent amount of runex points, and he'll definitely make some decent consistent money from these Vorkath teleports. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified with a little more videos. And have a nice day.